This is a letter written by Lloyd Walker from Newfoundland, and it's about a time that he, his brother, and two close friends went to play in the woods near Topsail Beach, Newfoundland, in the fall of 1942. It was about mid-morning when we came to a small clearing that was full of strange-looking things that we'd only read about in comic books. There was a lean-to with a fire pit, and in front of it, empty tin cans scattered all around. In the lean-to, on a shelf, was some kind of radio. It was attached to a wire which was strung from one tree to another across the clearing. We poked around a little while until we heard someone coming. Gord headed off into the woods with the rest of us following closely behind. We ran until we reached a farmer's field, all out of breath. Whatever this monster was, it was close on our heels. We started running across the field, but halfway across I stopped and turned around to see where my brother Mel was. Behind Mel, I saw the stranger and his dog come out of the woods. He stopped at the edge of the field and I had my first and last look at him. He was dressed in dark clothes and he had a black sweater with a long neck which was rolled down. The picture of his dog by his side still comes back to me every time I see a black Labrador Retriever today. The man picked up a rock and threw it at us. It hit my brother Mel on the ankle, but he was okay. I turned back around and continued to run until we jumped a fence on the other side of the field, which bordered on a dirt road. The boys flagged down a car, which got them back to Topsail Beach, where they could connect with some men in the army who were camped nearby. At the time, nobody knew that the SS Saganaga and the SS Lord Strathcona had just been sunk by a German U-boat. These iron ore carrying vessels were now on a bottom of a body of water known locally as the Tickle.